Alright, good morning folks once again. Cold all good here, aka the Suburban Ginger. And we find ourselves at Barefoot Resort this morning. There's the back of the clubhouse. This is 18 at the uh, Fazio course, I believe it will be playing the Love course. Just came off the putting green for a little early morning practice. <clears throat> Get the speeds of the greens down so we can roll it right this morning, my friends. I'm heading back to the cart and the family, and then we're gonna head on out to the first tee. See you out there on the course. Now before we head to the first tee, I was able to get some pictures in the pro shop and I wanted to show you folks this. You see, not only is the Suburban Ginger giving you great golf content, but he's doing it at some wonderful locations. Barefoot Resort has been voted the 2017 Golf Resort of the Year in North America. This place was so nice, they even gave us GPS TV screens in the golf carts. Number number one love yeah, for <laughs> Trying to discuss which uh which tees to play. Beautiful morning. Oh, yeah. Nicest morning we've had so far. That's our destination, fellas. Right down there. There you go. Just up the right. So JP and Gage played in the group ahead of us today, so I only got to see them a few times during the round, but don't worry, I'll introduce you to a new member of the family a little bit later in the video. All right, guys, on the course, we're going down number four here, which is a very fun hole. It's a drivable par four, um, only about 265 on the scorecard. I wussed out and I kind of pulled my three wood over there just right in, that, or in front of that right hand bunker. Um, but it's a very fun hole. Davis Love has built a few uh, holes around these uh, reconstructed ruins here. Of, I think it's an antebellum plantation, which you can see just behind the green here. It's a very cool, very cool setup. Uh, we're going to drive over to my ball and see what I've got. Well, ladies and gentlemen, We've had uh, some action here already. We're on six right now. Just teed off on six. Nice short dog leg right par four. Um, I got it back to even par at one point, as you can see as my, my sideways score is in. Drive it on the cart. But yeah, got it back to even par, but as you can see on the very next hole after that, you, you go with a double bogey. You make a hash of it, which I'm sure I'm not the first one that's done that, and I won't be the last. But let's see if we can't bounce back. may have been feeling the love at that point and the round started off pretty good but once it got bad it did not get any better as we made the turn I found out I wasn't the only one that was struggling Gage and JP were having a hard time too here at the Love Course. Zoom in on the fairway. Family men out there in the front, the group in front of us. We're having a great time out here. The weather is as it should be at Myrtle Beach. See that cart right there, Cole? Yeah. Oh, that's no problem. Shot selection. 
You go up there with a plan, folks. Know what you're going to do before you do it and execute. But always imagine the shot before you hit it. See if we can do it. So the man who was giving me instructions back on the tee is my father, who, along with my grandfather, are the two big influences on me in the game of golf. They both got me involved in the game from a young age and helped me develop as a young player. So all credit goes to the two of them. Sadly, my dad doesn't play a whole lot of golf anymore, uh, but I did manage to get his best swing of the day on camera. So it's a good, simple move. I'm going to show it to you guys, slow it down, and add some music for dramatic effect. Check it out. Good finish. Love course, Barefoot Resort. Family's here. Suburban Ginger is here, signing off, Myrtle Beach 2017. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want more. And just keep swinging.